enter the stars. Egypt is what you're looking at, the three pyramids at Giza. And this is the Sphinx. Now, many people don't give it much thought about these, what these objects might mean. But we have seem to have found a pattern in modern architecture of the layout of Egypt hiding in plain sight all across the world and more specifically in the United States of America. Now, this is the Sphinx. This is the archetypal image of the Sphinx nestled in this valley um, looking out from the three pyramids of Egypt. And I'm going to show you some fascinating similarities in the landscape of the United States that prove that we never left Egypt. And if that doesn't concern you, then the ramifications of this discovery should. Now, many of you are already familiar with the fact that the word Vega means a large plain or valley, typically a fertile and grassy one. And also many of you are already familiar with the fact that the Egyptians and the Great Pyramid were built surrounding Vega. It says here it is widely known that the Great Pyramid was so built so that its entrance gallery points directly to the pole star, except that the pole star in question is not Thuban, but Vega, the brightest star of the whole northern hemisphere. So what you didn't know was that the name Dallas means wise meadow stance. Wise meadow stance. So when we start to look at these things and consider the fact that the positioning of the Sphinx is in a stance, now we can start to put together and piece together what these mysteries might mean. As I always tell you guys, we never left Egypt. Egypt rules this reality. Why? Because the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, were the Nephilim bloodline. They were the giants, the leaders, the gods, anyways, were the giants that were at enmity between the seed of God. They imprisoned the ancient Israelites that were carrying the seed of Jesus himself. So you're asking yourself, KC, why are you talking about Dallas and Egypt? And I'm going to explain it to you because we've already previously discovered that the Dallas Twin Towers, which are here, let's put this on 3D, look like the Twin Towers of New York City. We also discovered that these, this alignment through this golden ring of Thanksgiving Square, which includes all the sacrifice that went on in Dallas, the police shootings all fall on the line, the Kennedy assassination falls on the line, goes through the golden ring, through the Twin Towers of Dallas, goes right back to the World Trade Center in New York City and it actually dissects dissects the line that goes through the footprint of the World Trade Center this one red line on your screen we also had already identified that the pyramid building here that I'm showing you also points back to the pyramid next to the World Trade Center if you're confused about what I'm talking about go back and watch all of my Dallas videos and it is clear, I lay it all out. This is a pyramid atop this building. The building points are right back to the World Center as well. Now, let's take a look at this because we were started this conversation talking about Egypt and Dallas. And Dallas means Vega. So we have the pyramid at Las Vegas. That means fertile meadow valley as well. Now let's take a look at this because I overlaid this building here, these three buildings, as you can see, let this out. These are the three pyramids at Giza. Look, the three pyramids Giza. Here's the footprint. They're laid out like the Belle of Orion. This post office building here is the Sphinx. So you can see this clearly. This is it. The three buildings. Here they are. Let's turn this on and off. This py pyramidian shaped building as well. Here's the overlay. 
These are the Twin Towers of Dallas. This is the Pyramidian, another Pyramidian-shaped building. And there's the Sphinx in Egypt. And this post office becomes the Sphinx. Now, before you turn this video off, I'm going to show you the exact same layout. The exact same layout in New York City with its Sphinx building. See how the arms are arch outstretched just like the Sphinx? There's the head of the Sphinx. Now, I'm here for a reason because I'm in this building right here and I will not be here much longer. I am moving. But looking out this window is my view over the Sphinx. How I got to this spot is a strange twist of circumstances that no one can make up unless it's directed by the Holy Spirit. Because this is a process of learning. This is a process of exposing the evil one. All the people that built these things for whatever kind of mass sacrifice that they're looking to do. As well as the enemy himself at the very top guiding and directing all of these things. Now let's go to New York City and I'm going to show you something very fascinating. This is New York City. Here is the World Trade Center footprint and the new Freedom Tower here. The red lines you were looking at, this lower red line, was the red line that I told you went through the Twin Towers of Dallas. The Golden Ring, the 7-7 police shooting, and connecting, finally, the Kennedy assassination. All on one line. This line, all I did was connect the corners of this building and it pointed back to the other pyramidian topped building blocks away from the Twin Towers in downtown Dallas. Again, pointing and connecting these two cities. Now, why are we here? Because I'm gonna show you something fascinating. Again, when you overlay the Giza with the three pyramids of Egypt, and you look at where the Sphinx is located, it falls on another Sphinx-shaped building. But it doesn't just fall on another Sphinx-shaped building. It falls on another post office, just like the post office in Dallas. And there it is at the cornerstone position. Here's the overlay of the three pyramids of Egypt overlaying World Trade Center Ground Zero. We have two post offices connecting the two in its exact position or location. And I have to do more research onto what the post office might mean as it relates to the Sphinx and as it relates to Egypt. But my guess is that it is simply talking about the address of these places. The Sphinx basically becomes the address. And my guess is, is that other post offices around the country in these major cities are probably also shaped like the Sphinx sitting, looking in its stance, in its meadow stance. And this is widely accepted that this is in fact what we are looking at because people have already acknowledged that the Giza pyramids are laid out like Orion's belt, but they're also laid out as the World Trade Center. And we never left Egypt. We never left Egypt, which is why the first American pharaoh was Barack Obama. Barack's backwards is Scarab, the Scarab Beetle of Egypt. And to finally confirm these findings, this gift from the Holy Spirit, I'm showing you now this yellow line in front of the post office building of Dallas. Connecting the points of the corners. This isn't a random arbitrary line. This is a line connecting the corners. And when you find out where this line points to, at nearly 44 degrees, you will be in shock. Because this line points to the Sphinx in Egypt. And there you have your undeniable synchronicity about the truth of the nature of this reality that has been hidden in plain sight from us all.
Take care and be safe, you guys.